welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, we are the McKnight Twins. My name is Abby. My name is Emily. And it is Sephora sale season, y'all. We time. are so excited. We love the sale. Who doesn't love the sale? It's so much fun mm -hmm. getting to buy all the things you've been eyeing at a discounted price. I know it's not a lot, but yeah. It still makes a difference. If you guys are familiar with the sale, you kind of know how it works. So there's three different like levels when you shop at Sephora. So you have your Beauty Insider, your VIB, and your Rouge. We are, of course, Rouge. We <laughs> share an account, so that way we are Rouge every year. So we get first access to the sale, and you get a bigger discount. You get 20% off during that sale. And if you're VIB, you get 15% off, and then Beauty Insider gets 10% off. Yeah, and there's different dates. So Rouge gets to go first and last. Yeah, so we get a longer window to shop, which is dangerous. I kind of yeah. hate that. I know because like, we always end up somehow. Can you cut us off? Like, yeah, then we start watching other people's hauls and we're like, wait, I want that. We're gonna yeah. go ahead and jump right in because we have a lot to talk about. We do. Um, It'll be a long video. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is something that's kind of controversial that some people have been loving, some people have been hating on TikTok. I saw a lot of people either love it or hate it. And Abby and I are one of those people that love, love it. it. So just keep in mind, this is not for everybody. But this is the makeup by Mario. Uh, what is this one called? The Luminous Surreal, Surreal Skin. Skin Foundation. And we get the shade 15N, which is perfect when you're fake tan. I kind of want to pick up another shade that's a little bit lighter. Yeah. Because this shade's very dark. And it, it is. It is the perfect undertone for our fake tan. We are both wearing that foundation today. And every time I've used it, I haven't bought it myself. I'm waiting for the sale, but... When I use it, when Emily brings it, every time I'm like, now she's used it every time I come over. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like, I haven't been able to commit. I it takes a lot for me to commit to a foundation, especially one that's like this expensive. Yeah, and because the, nothing has compared to the Nars. The, mm -hmm. Like you guys, if you are viewers, you know how much we love our Nars Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Mm -hmm. Best foundation ever. Love it. And so I haven't even touched that foundation in a while because, because I've been mixing it with this foundation, which I just want to briefly mention because Abby's not a fan of this. Mm -mm. But I have been mixing these two every time I go out and every time I come home, I look at myself. I don't know if it's like the primers I've been using or the foundations, but it looks so good even at the end of the night. And I'm like, wow, this is such a good combo. Um, but I use the YSL All Hours. This is like a, a matte foundation. So this is very luminous. This is very matte. That's probably why and it works. Yeah, so these work so well together. I know it's a very expensive combo, so don't hate me. But I got this sent to me in PR. I would normally would never buy a matte foundation, ever. But I tried it, and I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. And mm -hmm. it has SPF 30 in it, and I use the shade MN9. For when I'm tan, they also sent me a second shade M and 7, which is for when I'm not tanned. Either way, I'm always mixing this foundation with this. I don't ever wear this by itself. That, the YSL one has a very strong scent, it which is like enough to make me never want to wear it. It smells like grandma's makeup, but I love that. But it's bad. I love it. But <laughs> this one, I feel like is going to be perfect for the summertime. Mm -hmm. This is like going to be a beautiful, it unless you're oily. It like a little, there's like little, um, I don't know what it's called. It's flex. not glitter. It's like flex of, but it's, you can't really see it on your face, but it mm -hmm. does just make your skin glow and look mm -hmm. really healthy. And I like that it's full coverage. And a little bit does go a long way. I, mm -hmm. also I only need too. one pump. I do one pump of each. Yeah, so I'm and a big fan of the Mario Foundation. Me too. And all I hours, love the packaging. Do not get the all hours if you're, if you're dry. Or if you're super sensitive because this has fragrance. Yeah. But for me, it's a perfect combo. Yeah. Okay, so let's just stick to complexion products. Yeah, let's get a concealer. Um, well, I wanted to talk about this real quick. Oh, what is that? Oh, yeah, me too. Oh, you got it? Yeah, I got it. I couldn't wait, oh. actually, for the sale for this one because I you love this. You used it because of me? <laughs> yeah, I used it because of you, but it's also, I knew it would be really great for no foundation Almost days. Out. Yeah. When I just wear my um, tinted sunscreen with the bronze elephant drops, and then I put this on as a little bit of a light contour, it's so beautiful for everyday natural makeup because not I do not wear foundation and concealer every day. I just can't. Yeah, so but this, this is, so is nice. the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer All Over Warming Complexion Tint. We get the shade medium. I kind of want to get medium dark for the summertime because mm -hmm. this really is very cool. warm toned. It's very like bronzy looking. Mm -hmm. I use this when I'm underpainting, aka Same. like using it underneath your foundation. We both used it today for yeah. underpainting. It's, it's just too. a very universal product and I am obsessed. Mm -hmm. I also still love the Huda Beauty one. It's still great, but this one has been replacing that mm -hmm. because it's a little bit... This one's dewy. Yeah, this one I feel like if you were oily, it would slide around your face. Not gonna lie. 
Not if you put it underneath foundation and set it yeah. and stuff, but yeah. Okay, so a concealer that I have to mention in this video is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte Liquid Concealer. Emily and I have both been Love. loving this. This yes. has been my go-to concealer. I reach for it every time I do my makeup. It's really full coverage. It's not drying. It doesn't crease. It just mm -hmm. makes the most beautiful bright under eye ever. And we use the shade Sugar Biscuit. What I do is I use it for extra coverage before my foundation because I do have some pigmentation on my jawline. So I like to conceal okay, with the skin tone concealer before my foundation just for extra coverage. I also feel like foundation always slides off right here really easily for me. Mm -hmm. So I like to use this just for extra coverage in areas. And I, I put it all over my chin too. Or if you have a pimple. Yeah, you use it on your chin too because that's where I feel like also my foundation like will come off is on my chin But honestly this concealer is just amazing so good to set that concealer this powder You guys have probably seen it all over tiktok everyone raves about it because it's truly the best powder in my opinion I think it is so blurring so flawless looking mm -hmm. it makes your skin look so airbrushed and smooth and just nothing compares honestly. Do you remember when I did that video? We filmed a video where I did your makeup mm -hmm. like a long time ago. Mm -hmm. That was before like this product really blew up and I used that and I was like obsessed yeah. with it. Mm -hmm. So we've been obsessed with this powder for years. Years. But they did come out with a new shade, shade. that Abby is like super in love with. I, I personally don't really day. use that shade. I like pound cake more but she loves cupcake yeah cupcake is just this really beautiful it's a very light pink mm -hmm. so it's kind of more i feel like it it's translucent with just a little bit of pink mm -hmm. i'll show you guys actually but it is just so stunning and i've grown to really love the smell of this stuff mm -hmm. it smells so good but love that powder it's a tried and true you can't go wrong if you haven't tried it I really don't know what you're doing. Honestly, it's sold out a lot, so that's that powder's gonna sell out. It used to Wait. not be until TikTok. Yeah. TikTok really hyped that product up for good reason. Yeah. For yeah. good reason. Yeah. It really does put a filter on your it's face. Truly amazing. So the next product I recommend is another super popular, well known, loved product. It is the Rare Beauty Liquid Blushes. Mm -hmm. These are so stunning, okay. and I don't know what we did without them. I'm sure <laughs> a lot of you guys can relate to that. They just give the most beautiful, Flush Useful your cheeks. Look, yeah. And the colors are gorgeous. So the three colors I have is Happy, which is this like neon bright pink, I have which that one, I maybe. love. It is very pigmented, so you have to be careful. The littlest bit goes a long way with mm -hmm. these. Also, hack, you could mix any of these colors together, and it's so beautiful. I like to mix them. Um, and then Joy is like a really bright neon, like peach. Which is so good when coral. you're super tan in the summer. So love pretty. That. Yeah, we love this one, especially if you have darker for skin tones. Mm -hmm. You need it. It would look so good for vacation too. Mm -hmm. A must-have. And then a good everyday color is Bliss. This is a matte liquid blush, and this is just a really pretty light mauvey pink. Mm -hmm. Um, it's really really pretty. Um, I would say more of a rosy pink. A rosy pink, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, not mauve, but it's a really pretty baby pink. It's um, universal. And I like mixing these two together. It's really pretty. Happy with bliss. And then powder blushes that we have to give these a mention. Again, super popular products, but they are popular for a reason. All these products that we're talking about are popular for a reason. This blush. The Dior blush. We both have it on today. It is the most beautiful, cool toned, bright baby pink on the market. I've tried so many mm -hmm. um, like Shades similar like dupes and stuff like that. I do still, I love the Juvia's Place one if you are looking for a dupe. The Juvia's Place one is really, really pretty and like a fraction of the price, but I will continue to repurchase this. Yeah, over a year now I've had this, I think, mm -hmm. and I am not anywhere near pan. Yeah. So, and it's not super pigmented, which some people complain about because you kind of do need to use a lot, but I like that because it's foolproof. I can sometimes overdo things and yeah. then I look like a clown, especially with blush. Especially so with pink blush. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I kind of like that this isn't super pigmented, so I can really build it up and control how it looks on my face. I feel like, and also, I've never seen anyone use that blush and it looks bad on. It looks good on everybody. everybody yeah. But also obsessed with the coral one as well. I don't reach for it as much. Um, as the pink one because the pink one is just oh, perfection mm -hmm. but this one is just as stunning it's just it not as reached for but yeah. i love it i love them both so 
highly recommend. There's one more yeah. blush. It's more of a blush highlighter. Abby and I have talked about this so many times, so we're gonna keep it real short. But we love the Fenty Kilowatt. Like, they're a duo highlighters, but this one is like a blush highlighter. It's in the shades Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. I kind of just mix the two. That's what I'm wearing today. That's the only highlighter I'm wearing. So pretty. It's so stunning. Yeah, you don't even need highlight when you use that. I know. And so the basically tan. this so is good. the powder version of Pink Gasm from Charlotte Tilbury. Is why I think it went viral because of Madison Beer. Uh, and it's, it is really beautiful. Okay, and then also the same thing, the Fenty Kilowatt highlighters, but this is an actual highlight gold shimmery champagne color. I used it today. I am so obsessed with it. It's so pretty. It gives the most beautiful glow. This one is in Afternoon Snack and Mo Honey. And one it's is so pretty. One is more glittery with both of these. There's one that's more glittery, and then there's one that's more like a sheen. Mm -hmm. So it is really pretty to mix them. I do the same thing with this. I mix them. And what's nice is you could use this as eyeshadow too. Yeah, that would make a beautiful really eyeshadow. eyeshadow. And they're also both super pigmented, so you do not need a lot. Okay, so this bronzer I have had for so long, and I kind of forgot about it and left it in my drawer for a long time, and then I used it again a couple weeks ago, and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot how much I love this bronzer. So now I've been using it every day. It's a Gucci bronzer, so I know it's pricey, so I'm sorry. But um, I'm not sure. But I've hit pan oh, on it. Geez, it's $64. Yeah, it is pricey, you guys. But everyone that I put onto this loves it. And I use the shade 03. And it has just like the slightest shimmer. You can't really tell. Really pretty, yeah. But it's, it's mostly matte. Yeah. But it is the perfect shade. So we're going to go ahead and move on to lip products. If you guys are new here, Abby and I are very, very picky about our lip products. Very. We're obsessed with new lipsticks. It's like basically all we wear. And we're also recently obsessed with like a very glossy lip. Yes. But like I said, very picky about which products we use. Um, so my lip combo today is Coconut Lip Liner by Kylie Cosmetics, which obviously you can't get at Sephora. But then I use the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in Fair Game and the Sephora, um, what is this, like Cream Lip Stain in 32 Nude Blush in the center. It's my go-to combo. I've been wearing it pretty much every day for the past couple of weeks. We always remix our combos. We're switching it up. But another cool toned nude that I'm obsessed with, this is more of like a brownie nude, mm -hmm. is it's a dark the nude. Huda Beauty Staycation Matte Lipstick. Literally stunning. It's like a velvet, like smoothing mm -hmm. texture. I don't know. I love the way it feels on my lips and looks on your lips. It looks like velvet. Mm -hmm. Honestly, that's just the best way to describe it. So it's not like super drying or anything. No, but, but it's it not does, hydrating either. Yeah, no, it's not hydrating, but it is matte. And then another lipstick I have been reaching for lately. I've had this for a while, but it's just been something I reach for a lot lately. It is the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Kim KW. It's mm -hmm. a really light pale nude color that just has a little bit of like a sheen to it. It's not like glossy by any means, but it's like a, I don't know how to describe it. But There's also, what is that one from Anastasi that we love? Like this haze. haze. Okay, that's yeah. also a really good one. It's kind of like Mac too. Myth. Love that one too. If you guys hear crinkling and crunching in the background, my son's eating a fruit snack, so just ignore. He doesn't want to be um, alone. <laughs> so moving on to glosses. The first gloss that I want to talk about is the Refi gloss. This is just a little mini version. It's usually bigger than this, so don't be caught off guard with that. But it is just the most beautiful glassy, glassy and glossy. I'm it for you Thank I'm going out here. Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> but this just makes your lips look like glass. And I use that right now. We like how when you put it over lipstick, it doesn't really mess up your mess lipstick. up your lipstick. It's just a really beautiful gloss. Oh and lips are feeling dry, so they look dry. I've been seeing uh -huh. some like flakes. Oh, thank you. But also the tip of it is like aluminum, so it's kind of cooling, and it just feels really good. So I love that gloss. I love the applicator. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. Not only cooling, but it's a really nice shape. Yeah. And then the next lip product is the Dior Lip Glow Oil. I brought both of these because one of them is almost gone. I wanted to show the comparison to kind of like what it looks like after you've been using it for a while. And then what it looks like somewhat new. I've used this a few times. This is the Universal Clear Shade, but it turns like hot pink. That's so weird. It's so weird. But I need that. But it kind of comes like this. For sure. But I use this religiously every day. Um, I have one in my car. Now I have one. I had to get two because I needed one in my car and one up in my room. 
and it makes again it makes your lips look so juicy and glassy and plump and mm -hmm. hydrated and it's addicting you just want to put it on 24 the price seven. annoys me a little bit it's super annoying but i've tried but. i tried the kylie lip oil we tried the nyx lip oil i tried one other lip oil too and nothing compares yeah the, I, what i like about this one is hey, the applicator is so nice mm -hmm. but the how thick thick it is mm -hmm. literally worth every penny i put jen on as well she's obsessed really <laughs> yeah but um i was gonna say too i know it's clear and it turns pink but it doesn't really make your lips look pink but it does make them look healthy and alive my lips look okay with this yeah they look good okay. we love that gloss so these lip products are a 10 out of 10 next thing is kind of random i've never talked about this but i've been using this for a while now it's a cinema secret makeup brush cleaner and this is in the tropical lemon scent the original scent smells like pretty bad <laughs> but i don't clean my makeup brushes often me either not at, at all. all not near as much as i should it's really bad i do that like once a year and that's so bad to admit so you need this because it makes the process so much easier so much faster your brushes dry almost instantly so you okay. don't have to wait for them to dry over that's the thing i hate like doing it at night and it, then having them like dry all day and then the next morning they're still wet you could clean like, your brush and then use it two minutes later it's dry so it's like it's magic whatever is in this it probably not great chemically wise <laughs> but i don't care it, it kills 99 percent of bacteria which is amazing and it just explains Explain how, how, how to use it so you pour it in a little i have like a little tin can you pour some of this in it you dip the tip of your brush you rub your brush on i i like lay out a hand towel or a paper towel whatever works and you get off all the residue it comes off so easily and you lay it down and it's dry within 30 seconds. And it's, it's fluffy still? I can, yeah, I could literally show you. It's yeah, literally I insane. I need a backup of these. I still have quite a bit, but I did want to mention this. You guys need this. I do need that. It's actually. so good. <laughs> Quickly, a couple hair products. First one is the Moroccan Oil Dry Shampoo. And this is the light tones for you blondes out there. I love how this dry shampoo has like a purple mm -hmm. tint to it. So it really makes your hair just look like freshly done out of the salon. Mm -hmm. And I like how it doesn't make your hair feel like yeah, and build up. Yeah, so this is a pretty expensive dry shampoo. I will say it is worth the money, but it's great to get during the sale, obviously, because she's pricey. Okay, and the next thing is a styling cream, which I didn't think I would use as much as I do use. And I love this for managing frizz, obviously. It smells so good. I love this. Stuff. And I love do using that when I put my hair up. Um I just kind of put some in my hands, rub it together, and like Small slick too. back my hair as if it's gel. It doesn't like hold your hair down like a gel would, but it does kind of like, I don't know, sleek it down and get rid of any flyaways and frizz. And it's hydrating, which I love. It's not like a gel where it's going to dry out your hair and leave tons of residue and build up. Um, when you rinse it out, it actually feels really good. And you can still brush it out and style your hair a different way the next day. Gel's too much of a commitment for me. Yeah. And this is like a That's perfect <laughs> product. So yeah, gel's like, my hair is so greasy. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I have to wash it tonight. But this is like, if you want to do an updo and your hair's only on like day two or three, you could still use this and then you'll be fine the next day. So this is totally worth it. And I love this product. You get a lot of product in there and a little you goes do. a long way. That so. will last me forever. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we have a couple skincare products to talk about. Then we'll move on to our cart. The first product Emily and I are both obsessed with. This is the Tatcha Indigo Overnight Repair Cream. This moisturizer is so good. Amazing. It yeah. makes your skin so plump and hydrated. It's a serum and moisturizer hybrid, so it's kind of like a two-in-one. Um, and I just feel like it is the most soothing hydrating moisturizer i've used mm -hmm. look at the texture of this you guys can see how much i love it she's expensive but she's I gonna broken. say i didn't know how expensive it was until i told my friend she asked me she's like what's your favorite moisturizer and i said this one and she's like are you sure it's 92 or 98 dollars or something really and i was expensive. like i didn't even realize how expensive it was yeah but the ingredients are really Yikes. really good and even my uh, fiance jake he is so hooked on tatcha now he loves tatcha <laughs> and this is his favorite moisturizer i've bought him so many different moisturizers and this one is his favorite he bought it himself he went into sephora by himself yeah. to buy it that's yeah. how you know and then again this is a product i've been repurchasing for years i will always repurchase this this is the pharmacy green clean makeup melting cleansing balm it is the best like 
makeup remover on the market. Do not use wake up wipes. You need to be double cleansing with an oil based makeup remover and then you know your water based cleanser because it just breaks down all the makeup all the skincare all your sunscreen it needs to come off you need to really get it off before you go to bed so this stuff is really good at that it just dissolves it completely and it feels good you're not like pulling and tugging on your skin like you would with a makeup wipe so super important that you're using an oil remover even the tatcha cleansing oil is also amazing. i do love the cleansing oil yeah yeah um and then a lip product that I can't live without again the tatcha kisu lip mask so, so good. good it's so thick mm -hmm. and like silky and hydrating and i feel like it's locked in like your, your lips just feel so smooth mm -hmm. i have this next to my bed on my nightstand and i apply it every single night before bed and my lips are always hydrated along with the dior lip oil of course i've been not products. using that lately and i feel like i've noticed a difference yeah. my lips aren't as hydrated yeah if i stop using this i will notice as well it's really good. If also, I'll show you guys the texture of this. I'm a big texture person. It's kind of like Same. a jelly. And I did want to give one perfume a shout out. This was really hard to narrow mm -hmm. it down because we love so many perfumes from Sephora. It's so good. It's so like a good. hot girl scent. It's like the modern sexy. day Viva La Juicy. Yes, that's a good way to put it. Mm -hmm. It's very sexy and feminine, but still like warm and a little bit like... Not masculine, but it has the warm undertone. It has the boss bitch vibe. Not a fan of sweet perfumes. Yeah. We like them more. Unless it's Burberry Her. That one's really sweet, but I love I her. love Burberry Her. That one's really That's good. That's the only too. other one that I would say is perfect for the spring and summer besides this one. I'm just going to start. I'm going to go get Tatum a snack. Okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got a headset. Yeah, because we both have kind of the same wish list, honestly. We always end up buying a lot of the same things. Um, so the first thing in my cart is the Prada Paradox perfume. I've smelled this many times when I go into Ulta and Sephora, and it smells so good. I was put off when I read the description because it says florals, warm florals. This is a floral ambery perfume. And usually I don't like super floral perfumes, but this one, I don't feel like it smells like, I guess I was just expecting it to smell like roses and tulips in a garden, and it smells so, so good. Next thing are some blushes. These two blushes by Too Faced, the Cloud Crush Blurring Blush. I swatched these last time I went to Sephora and they are stunning. I feel like it's gonna be kind of similar to the Dior colors. I really want the shades Tequila Sunset, which is a muted peach. It's kind of like a vibrant neon peach, which is kind of like the Dior one. And then the cool toned bright baby pink in Candy Clouds stunning the reviews are really good on this blush people say it lasts all day long and that it's blurring and makes your skin look really you know smooth and airbrushed so i'm really excited to try those blushes i usually am really satisfied with Too faced products except for their eyeshadows they're not good but Too faced i really do enjoy that brand so i'm sure i will love those blushes also a tatcha product in my car is the dewy serum resurfacing and plumping treatment i have purchased this before and i am obsessed with it it's so hydrating and it's like a milky consistency and it just feels really, really good on your skin. Again, amazing ingredients, really good reviews, and I definitely think it's worth the money. Also, another product from Tatcha is the Silk. This is a new product from Tatcha. It is the Silk Serum Wrinkle Smoothing Retinol Alternative, and it looks, again, like really milky, and like it will be really hydrating and amazing. I know Jake is gonna want this because he has red sensitive skin and this is a good retinol alternative because a lot of retinols irritate his skin um and this is good for redness as well which he has um i still want this for myself too because i just a love tatcha and b love a good retinol alternative it says it's good for loss of firmness good for redness good for uneven texture and good for anti-aging so all that stuff sounds amazing great for all skin types and yeah i'm all about you know trying to prevent the aging from happening i know it's gonna happen no matter what but if i can buy something to help i will emily and i both also want the glow recipe watermelon glow and niacinamide sunscreen want so bad. spf 50 and we love glow recipe i know it has fragrance in it so it's not like the best the best skincare wise but 
I still love it. Yeah, I'm a sucker for it. Another thing that's in my cart is the K18 Biomedic Hair Science Leave-In Molecular Repair Hair Mask. That's a mouthful. Mm -hmm. But um, my hair stylist used this on me last time. She did my hair and my hair was so soft after. And obviously it's always soft after you leave the hair salon. Yeah. But I've heard just amazing things about this product. So I really want to get it. And I just want to get the mini size to see if it's worth the price. I have it. You can use it if you oh, want. Because I never yeah. use it because you're, you're, you're not supposed to use conditioner or a hair mask. You just shampoo your hair. And for me, with my extensions, I can't do that. I need a mask. Oh, you're not supposed to put no. conditioner on? You can't oh. use conditioner. You just shampoo your hair. hair. And then you use this as like what you would to do a hair mask. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I don't like that. So, basically, that's your conditioner. You just don't yeah. rinse it out. Mm hmm Okay. And you're sense. supposed to really, like, rub it in until it's, like, a foamy consistency. Mm -hmm. Like, people don't know that, but I guess, like, you're not just supposed to, like, squirt it I know in. it's kind of a complicated product. I've seen a lot mm -hmm. on TikTok about people being, you're probably using this wrong and this and that. But yeah. I'm intrigued. I also have the Tatcha Rice Wash Skin Softening Cleanser. Love I remember that. loving that cleanser. I, I hated the smell of it, but Same. I can get past it. I have that actually like in my boyfriend's um, shower and I always get excited to it's really use it in his shower. I'm like, I should get this in my own shower. Yeah. But I love the La Roche Posay one. I, I'll always yeah. use that one. That so. one's really affordable. Yeah. And great. I obviously have the Makeup by Mario foundation in my car, a backup of my Dior lip oil. Oh, also, I actually already ordered it. It's on the way, but it's the Rare Beauty highlight. I have, I ordered it in Exhilarate. I'm so excited. Yeah. I also want a couple of the Rare Beauty blushes, the Soft Pinch Blush Brush. Even though I have a blush brush, I'd still love my Huda Beauty blush yeah. brush. Um, but also blush. the Rare Beauty Highlight Precision Brush because I got the highlighter. We'll have all the information about the sale and when it starts. All that stuff will be in the description. Like Emily said, all the products will be linked. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, let us know in the comments though what you guys recommend. You guys always put us on mm -hmm. to something real good. You guys do. I always end up buying more after I read the comments. Okay, babes, that is gonna wrap up today's video. Thank you so much for watching as always. We love you babes so much, and we will see you guys very soon in our next video. XOXO, XO, 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 make that twins. twins.